Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Diane Anderson. We begin with Kristen Van Dyke and the forecast. Good afternoon. Cool across the state, 15 to 30 degrees cooler. The winds have died down except for right along the Texas border there. We will see some gusts occasionally under 35, perhaps 40 miles per hour, but not nearly as windy as yesterday. The cooler weather sticks around for tonight. Freeze warnings in effect again for the northeastern section of New Mexico and also into the Estancia Valley. So definitely take care of those plants and pets. We'll get into mild northwest flow as we head to the next few days. A lot of sunshine for the rest of the week and temperatures back actually above average as we head toward Thursday. Thursday, but for now and tomorrow, temperatures are going to be below average. And then this weekend, another cold front moves in to bring us another cool off. Your seven day forecast here 65 today, then down to the low 40s tonight. We'll stay above freezing for the metro area for the next week. Mostly clear skies all week long, with temperatures warming up Thursday and Friday back into the 70s, and then slightly cooler again this weekend with highs back into the 60s. How much will state lawmakers have to spend next year? Well, not as much as they first thought. State officials today are getting a briefing on the budget in Santa Fe. The number crunchers have lowered what they expect to come in from tax collections by $123 million for the fiscal year that starts next July. It's less because economists now expect oil and natural gas prices to be lower. The state should collect nearly $5.7 billion in its main budget account, including about $245 million in new money for the legislature to hand out to programs and services when it meets in January. A Roswell man who shot and killed his son and his son's girlfriend last year will spend life in prison. A jury found David Vega guilty in August of shooting and killing Christopher Vega and Elisa Montgomery in May of last year. Along with the two first-degree murder counts, he was also convicted on three counts of attempted murder for wounding three officers during a shootout at his arrest. Yesterday, the judge gave Vega two consecutive life sentences, which means he would be 108 years old before he is eligible for parole. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.